Hey guys, and welcome back to another hashtag daily tut here on T God Designs. Um, today I've got a really simple tutorial for you on how to uh, make your renders with alpha channels uh, a lot more manageable. And uh, I see this as a problem for a lot of people, especially first getting into After Effects, where um, they make these animations with transparent backgrounds. And uh, everything's fine, and they go to render, and they're just plagued with really just unnecessarily big uh, render files. Um, which is a byproduct of kind of how transparent video works, and I'll do a little bit of explaining of that in this video. But uh, my goal is to help you guys uh, render out transparent intros and assets and videos without having to basically chew up all of your hard drive space. Um, so that's what today's daily tutorial is going to be about. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you do, make sure to, you know, give that like button a little bit of a tap. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. So I've created this animation um, with the text popping up and all of that. Uh, and this was from yesterday's tutorial on how to create 3D extruded text, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, and I want to go ahead and render this, so I've uh, hit Control M on this composition, or I've gone up to Composition and then Add to Render Queue. And uh, I've basically uh, made two copies. One I'm going to show you with AVI, which is the traditional way of doing things, and the way I, I see a lot of people rendering out transparent video in After Effects. And a one with another file format that uh, that is a lot better called MOV. This is a QuickTime uh, encoded video format. So um, with the AVI, I'm just going to basically go over some of the settings um, that will allow you to render out a transparent video. So under render settings, this is pretty much what you would expect. You can pretty much leave it on uh, best settings, uh, 1920 by 1080, which is my composition. Uh, all of this is really specific to your project, and it's it doesn't matter um, for creating transparent video. So you can just leave this on the uh, drop down of best settings there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and under the output module, I'm going to, this is basically where all of the good stuff for transparent video uh, will be. So under format, uh, you want to select AVI and then post render action, this doesn't really matter. This is basically if you just want to import it back into your After Effects project after it finishes rendering, really not important for transparent video, um, but this is important. You want to make sure video output is checked, obviously, and um, you want to go to RGB plus alpha. And what that is going to do is not only create uh, a video with RGB, which is of course the, the color, the color space, uh, but it's also going to cram in a whole other channel called alpha, and that is basically all the transparency data in your video. Um, and this will create very large file sizes because the core reality of it is instead of the video just containing a bit of information for R, uh, for red, a bit of information for green, and a bit of information for blue, we're adding a whole other channel which is 0 to 225, um, zero being uh, completely opaque, uh, or sorry, zero being completely non-opaque or transparent, and 225 uh, bits, which is um, completely opaque or, or completely uh, opaque or uh, solid. So there's a whole other channel of information, which is why your file sizes are exponentially bigger. And it doesn't seem like much when you're just adding one new channel, but when you multiply that by over a million pixels per frame in your video, it really adds up, uh, which is why you see really large file sizes. And um, that's pretty much how it goes with AVI. You select RGB plus alpha, and then uh, format options, you don't really have much of a say because if you change it to anything else but none, which is uncompressed or lossless, um, you do not have the option to select um, RGB plus alpha anymore. So you pretty much have to render out a lossless video, which is absolutely ginormous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and render out this AVI and uh, we'll see how long that takes. Okay, so that took about 18 seconds or so. Uh, not too shabby. Um, 
AVIs will be inherently faster to render because it's uh, After Effects isn't spending time any time compressing, it's just dumping it to your hard drive. So that is that is a good thing. Um, but that is AVI. Let's go check out how big the file size is. So it looks like uh, we've got demo AVI right here, and the file size is about one gigabyte, <laughs> and the video file is only about five four seconds long which is absolutely insane when you think about it. That is ridiculous, and that shouldn't be the case. But as per my explanation a little bit earlier, um, that is definitely the case, and we now have a one gigabyte file. Now, one of the ways you can go about fixing this is I've just created another copy of my rendering, and uh, instead of choosing AVI, I'm going to go ahead and choose um, a new codec called QuickTime, and you have to have Quick uh, QuickTime installed on your computer, so you can download it from Apple's website. Um, but basically, uh, you select QuickTime, and then um, RGB plus alpha may be grayed out for you, and if it is, you would just have to go over to Format Options right here and select Animation from the dropdown. And what this does is uh, Animation uh, QuickTime is a compressible format, so you can actually go here and uh, change the quality and change the compression ratio. So if I want it to be 50% quality, uh, which still actually looks very good, um, I usually leave mine at 65. That's a good good medium, um, especially for fast-paced animation. Uh, if you have something that's really slow animation, like I guess this would be considered slow animation, you could actually go down to like 40 or 50% and still not see any degradation in quality. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then uh, once you select Animation QuickTime, you have the option to do RGB plus Alpha, and um, this will be recognized in most common editors, such as Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas. Um, a lot of other editors may not recognize this format as readily as AVI, uh, however, this is a very, very good choice, especially if you're distributing intros um, to clients and uh, you may not want to give them that one gigabyte file. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here and let's go ahead and see how long this takes to render. Okay, so this took about 16 seconds. However, I do believe um, that these vendors are using the RAM preview I generated earlier. So uh, take these render times with a grain of salt. Uh, usually QuickTime will be a bit slower than AVI and that's just by the nature of it also um, encoding uh, as well as uh, compressing the video. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the file size. So it looks like this MOV, instead of being 1.1 gigabytes, uh, which was the AVI, it's only 20 megabytes. That is absolutely insane. And you can definitely see the the pluses of using the MO, MOV uh, QuickTime encoder um, to uh, uh, render out transparent videos. They're much easier to manage and you can send them to people a lot easier than you can with AVI. Now, let's do a the theoretical situation where your client or whoever you're working with uh, may not be able to um, may not be able to use uh, MOV or QuickTime videos, which is the case in a lot of situations. Um, and you have to give them that AVI. One way to really make the uh, AVI video uh, uncompressed a lot easier to work with is actually compressing it. Now, you can't compress it in a traditional sense because if you convert the video to MP4 or something like that, the alpha channel will be destroyed and the video will no longer be transparent. However, uh, you can compress it with a zip or RAR archive, or even 7-zip if you wish, and you will see absolutely monumental reductions in file size. So I'm going to go ahead here and um, right-click my AVI, and I'm going to go to WinRAR, which is my compression container of choice, and I'm going to basically add it to uh, demo.rar, and this is going to go ahead and compress it. And you can see here that the compression ratio is 0%, meaning it's being almost fully compressed um, by WinRAR. And as you can see here, once it is done uh, RARing our files, I guess you would say, or compressing our files, uh, the demo AVI uh, has the entire 
a file of 1.1 gigabytes in it, but it compressed it down to 9.5, 9.5 megabytes. That's even less than our MOV container. Now, when you uh, open up this uh, RAR file, or um, I'll go ahead and open it up here by going to open. Um, when you go ahead and open it up, and let me zoom out a bit here. Actually, it does not look like I'm able to zoom out right now. My computer is bugging out. But anyways, when you click this file inside the RAR, uh, I'm opening it with WinRAR, by the way, uh, and you drag it out and you extract it, it will still be that 1.1 gigabytes, but um, there's a lot of redundant information in the alpha channel, which is why it's able to compress uh, this video so much, which is absolutely amazing when you think about it. Um, so I still am zoomed in for some reason. But um, let me see if I can just uh, quit my magnifier. Okay, that looks to be that we're zoomed out. Um, so that is pretty much how you manage with uh, large video files with transparent uh, with transparent alpha channels in them, and make them a lot more manageable. So hopefully this helps you with uh, your intro distribution and working with clients and that sort of stuff. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something new from it, I would definitely appreciate you hitting the like button. Uh, I'm going to be doing these tutorials every day. You guys have to feed me tutorial ideas, uh, so if you have any questions or ideas for um, tutorials for tomorrow or any days after, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, that is that is your end of the deal. I'm I'm uh, making daily tutorials, but I need you guys to keep me keep me stocked with uh, tutorial ideas. So yeah, um, share this video with someone who you think may benefit from learning this information. Maybe your grandma, maybe your dog, your mom, maybe. Uh, I don't know if your mom renders transparent videos, but um, if she does, you should definitely share this video with her. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, all jokes aside, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another daily tutorial. Alright, take care. Peace out.